periodically. Mr. Mosley. It's, Henry. It's, it's, Henry. Henry. Hank. That's right. I forgot. Uh, you know what? I bet you you could predict using periodic trends where this scientist is from. England? <laughs> He's a British chemist. Okay. Aren't there any <laughs> smart Americans? Uh, not yet, no. Uh, so in 1913, Henry Mosley comes along. Uh, and he was working with the Rutherford model of the atom because they had already discovered protons. Uh, and the exact work isn't necessary, but he was, he was playing around with the spectra of metals, the, the colors that they emit when you, uh, when you hit them with large amounts of electricity, um, or heat for that matter. And he noticed that a different pattern was going to work better. He realized that the number of protons was a better way of organizing the elements in, or, in order. And we've got protons by now because this is 50 years later than Mendeleev. Exactly. Rutherford had already discovered the, the protons yep. and they, knew, they actually knew how many protons were in each atom. So he developed an idea and he called it the atomic number. Okay. Which was based on the number of protons. So he basically just ripped off Rutherford's model. Uh, Rutherford's work uh, and uh, said, okay, <clears throat> we now have atomic numbers. They're equal to the number of protons, and we're going to rearrange the periodic table based on atomic number. Atomic number, which is the number of protons. Which uh, makes it nice and sequential. Right. And there are a couple places in the periodic table, the modern periodic table today, where the atomic mass doesn't work perfectly. It's, you know, by, based on Dimitri's idea, it was supposed to go up. Specifically, if you look between cobalt and nickel, Iron, cobalt, and nickel. If you look at iron, iron is 55.847, cobalt is 58.933, and nickel is 58.70. So it goes up and down. Yeah, just a little discrepancy, just, just though. A, not tremendous. Just a slight discrepancy, but it makes all the world a difference as far as the trends are concerned. Okay. Okay. Periods, similar energy levels, similar electron configurations. And we'll wind up talking about electron configurations very soon, yep. probably at the, the next lecture. Uh, we'll get into that. Uh, similar energy levels, we'll talk about that in just a sec. Actually, similar energy levels should look like this. This has one energy level. This period has two energy levels. This period has three energy levels, four energy levels, and so on and so forth. Okay, okay. five, six, and seven. Five, six, and seven. And some people actually have periodic tables in their classroom that have these numbers written down them. I don't know, that might be Mr. Kane and Mrs. Goswick. Yep. <laughs> Who knows? Um, next time. Families and groups. All right, so there's S, P, D, and F block elements. I guess we could look at this. Uh, it turns out, Miss G, where is the S block? I don't see any blocks that look like S's. Well, an S block, what we're going to find out is two electrons fit into the S. So the S block would be that first and second family, All right. including helium. You're going to have to move helium over, right, Mr. Kane? Yeah, I guess helium actually has to come over here for the purposes of the S block. To be so there. helium should actually be there so that it's an S. It's part of the S block. But then P's... Well, P's are going to be three orbitals, two electrons per orbital. That's six electrons total. And that would correlate to all that right there. That's the P block okay, so these all guys the way here. down. Yep. And maybe we can highlight that in yellow. All right. D's. Uh, D is five orbitals. That's 10 electrons. So you're looking for 10 squares. This looks like it's 10 squares across. Yep. And then F. F is going to be... Hopefully that's not my grade. Seven orbitals, two electrons per orbital, 14. So you're looking for 14 blocks. That's actually hard to write that uh, all the way down there. But that looks like 14 blocks across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, 14. Yeah. All right, great. And finally, we can talk about the number of valence electrons, right? Yep. And this is just... Uh, if we draw a model of an atom, like uh, here's the nucleus of the atom here, lots of protons, lots of, elect uh, lots of neutrons. We know according to our model of the atom, there are orbits that electrons are actually in. The outermost orbit has the valence electrons. Okay. Okay, the inner orbits have electrons in them, but we just don't call them valence electrons used to be a long time ago they used to call that thing that overhangs on a house a valence. Oh. 
long time ago, but uh, nobody knows that anymore. The inner electrons are called core electrons, aren't they, Mr. Kane? I guess so, yeah. And or that's kernel, I've seen that written Kernel, too. Yeah, yeah, kernel or core, core on the inside. I prefer core also. Yeah. Okay. So um, valence electrons, this is actually pretty easy. Um, one, whoop, this group, group one, has one valence electron. All of them? All of them. Every, si every of them. single one of those. No exceptions. One valence Ooh. electron. All right. That's uh, easy. This group here has two valence electrons. All right. That's All right. easy. Now, we really, the transition metals here, this D block, is a little bit unpredictable, so we just kind of skip over them. Okay. And then boron's group here has three valence electrons. Okay. Carbons has four valence electrons. Nitrogens has five valence electrons. We can almost guess the next yeah. one. This is this is almost periodic. Periodic. I was just thinking the same thing. Six, Six seven, seven, and, and eight. Then well, eight, yep. eight electrons. If you start with neon, yeah. Because helium is an exception. Yeah. There's always exceptions to these rules. Helium only has two valence electrons because it only has two electrons. Okay. But uh, neon on has eight. And then um, just a note here. These guys down here actually belong right there. They're kind of unpredictable also. Yes. All right, guys, All right. I think that's it. On to the next one. See you later. We'll see you tomorrow. Should we make them do something? Jumping jacks. You must now go exercise. Oh.